trade us my cross the globe and welcome to the 792nd edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Rock and Roll. Here we go, Sunday night. This video is being filmed on Sunday night for Trading Sunday through Monday. That would be November 7th, 2011. Traders, what's on the board? Well, I'm sorry to say over my left shoulder here is a red omni. And you know how we clap for red omnis, right? Like this. Red Omni. <laughs> but there's a Red Omni on the board. Now, I will say this. I sat down Sunday afternoon after reading all the newspapers I could get my hands on, and I'm prepared. Find, you know, I've looked at the fundamentals and I see what the street thinks. Then I sit down and do my analysis and see if the charts make sense. So after watching what we did trading all last week, I sat down at my desk and completely expected to have a buy trade, and out of nowhere, Omni puts the brakes on the trade, and there you go, just like that, the, the market stops cold, and Omni says, we need a red Omni, so I went, God, I really don't even, uh, you can't imagine how I disagree with this trade personally, but as I've shown each and every one of you on the axe, I do not interfere with something that works. If Omni says go short, we are going short first, and Omni says to go short Sunday evening through Monday morning, at least the first trade, we start off on the downside. So I investigated to see why I heard the brakes, because I wasn't expecting to stop this car at any time. We were heading north and thought it would continue. So I'm a bit shocked that Sunday evening I'm calling a short. But hey, that's what Omni wants me to tell you, and that's what I'm going to tell you. As we know, futures trading is extremely risky. It can cause substantial financial loss if you do not have risk capital to lose, if you do not recognize that a stop is your best friend, and if you do not recognize the risks behind this game, you should certainly not be trading. It is not suitable for all traders, I'll tell you that right now. But for you cowboys out there that understand the risks and like to play the game, let's go look at what's on the board because after Omni gave me a short one, I was so bullish personally, I investigated to see what's going on. First thing is this, Omni puts the brakes on the rally for Sunday through Monday and says you need to be short Sunday evening through the Monday morning session. Right off the bat, we need to back off on the buying that we've been doing. Next, there's a possible bear flag and a head and shoulders formation forming on the daily ES. E mini chart right now. The SP E mini, the big SP, looks to me like there's a head and shoulders forming. But that's for short term trading. That's for trading tonight into tomorrow. The video right before this I left you with was more like this one. And here's the thing about small head and shoulders patterns, traders. The longer term view is this a small head and shoulders pattern. They are usually continuation patterns, and this is what I mean. When you have a big, broad head and shoulders that builds over three or four months, that lots of times will top a market. But when you have something different, which is what I think we have in the S&P right now, when you have a little head and shoulders that built after a market rallied up goes into a small head and shoulders, that is usually a continuation pattern. And what you'll notice, it'll go up and create another small head and shoulders and do it again, and it'll come up from there. And that's how a lot of major rallies take place. So, short term view, we see a bare flag, we see a small head and shoulders, it could mean something. Longer term view, like before this week is over, we think that head and shoulders is nothing more then a little baby head and shoulders, which is a continuation pattern, and hopefully we can turn this guy on its end and paint him green before the week is over. For now, that's what we're going to look at, traders. Omni puts the brakes on. I'll show you why. The possible bear flag in the head and shoulders absolutely has something to do with it. That's what I went to look for once the brakes got put on. And then remember this that usually the smaller head and shoulders that we get when we're rallying in a market, they're not topping patterns, but they are continuation patterns. Traders, with no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Okay, traders, Omni comes up with a short, puts on the brakes on Sunday evening after us being so nice and bullish on Friday. 
And it says that it possibly wants to go lower today. In fact, it doesn't say possibly. Omni puts a, a sell recommendation out for the first trade. So I look at the charts and I realize here's the sell recommendation. There's a bear flag building and it's right below the 200 bar moving average where we continue to hit up against and fail and is now starting to break down. So here we are in E-mini S&P daily bar chart. There is a bear flag and we are now starting to fail a little bit at the 200 bar. I'm assuming that's one of the reasons why Omni wanted to call for a short. Let's look at another chart. When you look at the E-mini S&P daily bar chart, you will see that head and shoulders I was referring to a few moments ago. But traders, look at how small it is. I'm assuming by the end of the week that this head and shoulders will just turn into a continuation pattern and let us build another one up here somewhere. So that's what I'm expecting this to turn into. Another quick view of the indicators would show you that stochastics look a little bit tired here. And so does the RSI. It's pointing down, in fact. Stochastics seem to be now shifting towards the downside as well. And as I showed you, we were below that 200 bar moving average on the bar chart and in a head and shoulders slash bear flag. This is plenty of technical reason for Omni to call for a short starting out Sunday evening. Now let's go look at one more chart. That is that continuation pattern. This is what I think it will be, traders. A small head and shoulders is usually a continuation pattern, and I think this will end up going higher. If you look at this, you got a big shoulder here, you got a head here. This could probably be another shoulder, and the whole thing's probably an inverted head and shoulders pointing towards the upside anyway. So longer term view, not Sunday through Monday, but longer term view, we are looking at that as a continuation pattern, and it will go higher maybe before this week comes to an end. Traders, the dollar index. Here we are, the dollar index. This is a daily bar chart, something I showed you in our last video. Now, looks like the dollar index is in a very big head and shoulders, unlike the little one the S&P is in, and going for a head test. If the head test fails, which means if it gets up here and cannot go any further and breaks, the dollar will crack down like we would expect after a head and shoulders is formed and a head test fails. Then you get the breakdown. But at the exact same time, when you look at this chart again, what's happening right here could very well be a pennant flag, traders. After this head and shoulders was formed, we went down. There's a really long ball here and another ball here, and it created a flagpole. Now we have a pennant. If the market fails to get above the pennant flag, it will break down. If it gets above the pennant flag, the head test area is on. What makes this important is the dollar index. If it goes down, the stock market goes up. And if the dollar index goes up, the stock market goes down. At least that's the relationship at this point in time. So this is something telling us caution. I'm looking slightly bullish, at least for day traders, while the S&P with the little head and shoulders and the possible bear flag is looking slightly bearish. That is plenty of technical reason to think the breaks being put on by Omni for Sunday evening is a correct move. Traders, pull your own charts, do your own homework, take a look at these charts, look for your head and shoulders, then compare them to the dollar index. So, traders, you've seen the charts. Here's the thing. During that whole chart segment, my alerts have been going nuts downstairs in the trading room. So I got to get out of here. Come to my site, livewithoscar.com. Jump into my free trading rooms and allow me to guide you through the recommendations and through these rough and tumble markets. Traders, I'm out of here. Remember, keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best ways you can help yourselves with that is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Stop sorry. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.